and this doesn't make them that's a myth there was no state atheism in afghanistan they were persecuting reactionary mullahs bro i'm sorry but if you dude come on that is the most insane interpretation of events. They were just straight up butchering motherfuckers, dude. Get the fuck out of here. That is a psychotic take. Come on, dude. If you don't learn lessons from history, which by the way, that's not even a Stalinist interpretation because the USSR didn't agree with what the fucking Communist Party was doing in Afghanistan. They literally didn't agree with it. So that's not even true. You just found like a very weird perspective on your own that you built on your own. Okay, the USSR did not agree with the fucking purges in Afghanistan. Okay, that's not even a Stalinist take. Anyway, I'm any less Muslim or any less great in their achievements? <laughs> yeah, famous an Stalinist USSR of the seventies. Like, exactly. That's a that's a whole different can of worms. But like, whatever. It's just. A reality of something that they did in their spare time. Now, propaganda against the Ottomans did exist. Oh, this at the is time, the one that like you're talking piece about. Just here, making fun of the fact Eight that they have so much gay sex other. and draw it. Uh, but in Eastern Europe, most of the propaganda against the Ottomans were calling them things like barbaric and accusing them of sexual assault, not the most likely consensual gay sex they were having to. I'm not denying that, but like in Greece, it was mostly higher classes, not most people. And Socrates criticized it, for example, it wasn't as normal as you make it seem. For the Arabic poetry she's talking about, most of it is mostly straight men writing about their female lover, but with male pronouns, but it wasn't accepted publicly to express your love. Dude, this guy is so desperate to like rewrite history that he's just like going back in time and being like, no, 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 it was just like rich people doing it. Like, that's crazy. Oh, oh fuck, man. Oh, did Socrates criticize it? Shit, dude. No, no, you're right, dude. Uh, literally, entire fields of anthropology uh, be damned. This guy decided that that is not the case, okay? Like, also, another thing that is so funny about this is, like, that doesn't mean that there weren't people who were criticizing uh, uh, homosexuality. By the way... Uh, Wait, does Arabic... Well, Turkish does not have any fucking gender pronouns, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But Arabic poetry, I guess, maybe uh, does. I don't know. Does Arabic... Does Arabic poetry have uh, gender pronouns? Uh, does Arabic uh, have gender pronouns? Maybe it does. I don't know. Turkish does not. Turkish is gender neutral. Unless you are directly... Turkish is gender neutral as a language unless you are directly referencing a gender. Like, you can... You can actually gender your language, but you have to go out of your way to do so. So if in, in that circumstance, if you're if there is a, a mention of gender, that means someone like directly wrote it like all on. There's 12 pronouns in Arabic. I'm Arab words are gendered very often. Why is Austin here? Wow. It's what do you mean? He's so homophobic. Yeah, you're being homophobic. You're being just as homophobic were, as that guy. You know, in the room drawing it for them. So I hope you understand that I'm not acknowledging this as a means to make fun of the Ottomans. I think this is just a interesting fact of life for them at the time. And if you genuinely have a problem with this, please look inwards towards yourself and reflect on why when it doesn't involve you or change their accomplishments. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, these are things that happen throughout history, and you just want to go, la, 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 I don't want to hear you. I, I think you're lying. Like, it's so weird. And they're, like, you could just read a fucking book about it, and you would recognize that you're just in the wrong. But you would rather not do that. You would rather just fucking keep deluding yourself and hoping that the world is designed in the way that you understand it with your weak-minded contemporary perspective. It's so fucking odd. It's so odd. It's like thinking at the top of the hour, there isn't a three minute ad break when there clearly is. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. Okay.
which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account or by getting gifted a sub. Okay, here's the three-minute ad break now. 11 Kevin A. 11, thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Here's the three-minute ad break now. They think like debaters and not people who want to understand and learn. Yeah, I know. I think it's like very, de the debating has been disastrous, okay? Why does everybody think when I'm looking at my phone, I'm on Grinder? Socrates famously altered his prose and included non sequiturs in an attempt to appease the authorities, which he ultimately <laughs> failed at. <clears throat> I, I don't use Grinder, just like I don't say the F word. You, okay, so now you're just admitting that you use Grinder all the time because you say the F word all the time, just That's off camera. That's not true. I did use it in our text messages a few days ago. Because you are? What do you mean? Anyway. I, 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 oh, 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 they're saying I you are you were using Grindr. No, I've never used Grindr. If you see me on Grindr, it's somebody impersonating me. For the Greeks and Romans were kind of weirded out if you were a high class dude who was only into men or women, but so many guys still had sex with guys, bro. You can't get away from that. You still man their position with better arguments uh, and they're still saying dumb shit. Yeah, I know. It's just like, it's such a sad state of affairs that you can be so deluded and so desperate to deny the existence of something that has been well documented throughout history. I love how much of an ally you're being. Make no mistake, I am not an ally. I am a <laughs> foe, okay? I am a foe. <coughs> However... The truth is still the truth. You know what I mean? You can't just like fucking close your eyes and your ears and go, la, 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 la. I can't hear you. I don't want to know about the history. Fuck you. You're wrong. Son. Yes. Bro, you you finally got the patch on? Yeah. Is that the eternal zit? Yeah, it's not going away. <laughs> Dude, it's not it's even like, a zit. I don't know what it is. It's like, it, it is like hard. Yeah, it's a zit. Uh, dude, it's been there for four months. Like, I know. It's like, it's, it's the eternal shit. Yeah, it's the so cyst. fucked up. You need to go see a dermatologist. I do. I got a dermatologist. I'm going to bring him over here. They'll inject it with a cortisone, diluted cortisone steroid. It, it is a cyst. It's going to get yeah. better. I, I, I can't pop it. There's no, I can milk it. Do you keep it. pushing on it? That's the problem. No, I tried to pop it, but and How, it, how I often can't. do you try to pop it? Like every day I squeeze That's it. That's exactly why it's lasted it. for four months. Some st Stuff comes out of it every day. It, uh, like weird do you have any like anti it's a cystic acne you may need antibiotics i think so no you don't need antibiotics you need like a benzoyl peroxide cream or uh salicylic acid or okay everyone is giving me like a million different fucking examples but listen to me i'm a doctor or their humanity as muslims these are muslim men they're human beings and they had gay sex Exactly. Exactly, dude. Exactly. So go off. Go off, everybody. Why do we have to Keep call fucking it gay sex. Can we just call it sex? Yeah, but like, you know, that's what I'm referencing. You said the church in introduced homophobia and it's its teachings during the time of the Black Death. That's what I'm not referencing. Gay sex. It's look, look, great sex. Look, this fucking. Is this a Moon Moon fan? This fucking idiot is still like running off of not what I said. That's your misunderstanding of what I said. You hyper focused on the Black Death because you thought that was a good own. Okay, I wasn't just referencing social cohesion and organizing the organizing social organizing role that religion played specifically surrounding black death. Okay, you are simply hyper focusing on that because you want to win this argument. Okay, but you're not winning the argument. You're losing the argument. Okay, because you're not hearing what I'm saying. Of course, this is not just about the Black Death, per se. I said Black Death and the fact that people needed more children, okay? And children would die before they ever made it to adolescence. I need to study, bro, you gay, you're not Muslim. If you're gay, you're not Muslim. Yeah, you do need to study. You need to study more about uh, Islamic history and homosexuality and Islam in the Islamic world. Okay? So that guy is a fucking idiot. Where is this guy? Is he back? Does he have more? So stupid. Hold on, let me read that. No, Austin, if you put steroids on an infectious, you'll neutralize the local immune cells and make an infection spread. Austin. It's, it's not an infection. 
Not an infection. Trust me. Okay. It's inflammatory acne. Um, you, oh, okay. All of a sudden, you guys are doctors? Okay, maybe it is an infection. All right. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It might be. It maybe it's be. a little infected. I need to go to a professional. Does it hurt and is it red? <laughs> it's red, but it doesn't hurt. It's not infected. It's a cyst. God, you know what? I don't Homosexuality know what has been present and accepted about. throughout history. That doesn't mean there weren't some bad outlooks upon it, mainly on certain <laughs> times, mainly because of reproduction in a world without modern size. Exactly. No, that is precisely what I'm saying. A lot of the anti, a lot of the the homophobia and like anti homosexuality takes, unironically come from uh, trying to make up uh, reasons, uh, trying to basically desperately uh, ensure that people keep. Uh, fucking and having children at a time when like you needed to have 10 just for some of them to survive. That's it. Anyway. If it's a cyst and the reason why it's coming back is because there's a sack that keeps refilling, you got to get them to remove the whole thing and you'll be good. No, wrong. That's wrong. I know for sure it's wrong. That's wrong. Do not do that. You'll get a scar. Do not do that. Do not let somebody go in and cut that out. Do not do that. Okay. Get it injected with a diluted cortisone steroid. But I, from what I understand, a diluted cortisone steroid can leave a crater. Yes, that's it's. But it's no. Yes, it can. It can leave a, a crater, but it's very unlikely. Do you have any craters? From no. That? I've had multiple shots on my face, and on my back. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, but the crater's not permanent either. What do you mean? How do you fill the crater? Uh, it Like the skin, it, the atrophy comes back. I don't know. Fuck, I'm not a doctor. What the fuck do I look like? Wait, why are you speaking on these issues? Because I've like had the know. problem. I've experienced the issue. Like you fucking know what you're I'm, talking I've about. I've lived it. Unlike some of these fucking perfect skin motherfuckers, okay? We had to live... My generation... Uh, had to live through the generation of proactive, okay? We had, we seen, I've seen some shit, okay? All right? I've been through it all. Accutane, every topical, every antibiotic, everything I have taken. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a veteran. We're on Twitch, bro. You know we ugly. Oh, come on, man. That's not true. You're not ugly. Asana and I aren't ugly, right? We're on Twitch. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what... Are we ugly? Is that what you think? Maybe. <laughs> All right, we did it. We we covered this. I'm not trying to win, and I'm not denying that there was gay people. I'm just saying your description is exaggerating things. I don't agree 100%. I'm saying he's exaggerating. Uh, come on. Look, man. You're, you're, the idea <laughs> that you're sitting here trying to explain that there was less gay people, you're trying to diminish the fact that there were gay people that existed back then. And it then. was perfectly normal. He's like, no, it wasn't. There were people who had homophobic uh, opinions even back then. It's like, oh, okay. No, I guess then it's not normal. You're right. You're trying to minimize the amount of gay people. You know what? I'm just going to tell him this. You know what? This is really going to rock your world. As you start to study history, you're going to realize everybody was gay. Okay? Yeah. Every single... Jesus was gay. I bet this motherfucker thinks Abraham Lincoln Jesus was, was gay. Okay? Wait till you read that. It's really going to fucking rock your world. Jesus was fucking Joseph. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. But that's what I heard. Seven, repression of religious practice. <laughs> Building up from the previous point, I don't know. The who was Joseph? Oh, that's his was one of the, if not the, the worst mistakes Oops. of the former. So he wasn't fucking him. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't read the Bible. <laughs> I did what? You're such a bad Christian. I've been, I didn't read the Bible. You love wearing that fucking. You love wearing the cross too. I didn't know. <laughs> the phrase "Jesus, Mary, and Joseph" meant something. 
Well, Jesus' dad is actually God, so don't oh, worry. It wasn't his Jesus. blood. It wasn't his blood relative. Oh God. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was God. stepdad shit. Well, I mean, we're all related when you you know you break Adam and Eve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, remember this whole thing started because one guy stopped before <coughs> killing his son when God said stop. <laughs> <sighs> oh god it was a step religion dad. is something that will always remain in one way or another <laughs> particularly in historically religious communities oh. religious communities of all types survived and adapted from slave societies oh. to feudal or other pre-capitalist formations through capitalism and will definitely endure in one way or another during socialism and eventually communism for a socialist government to not only deny public religious expression of any kind, but to also actively repress it with militant atheist gangs wandering the countryside, yes, this happened, and active anti-religious education in schools only lends reactionary forces power. Religion is an incredibly powerful tool, and every religious tradition lends itself very well to socialist ideals. If one were intelligent, yep. they'd rather utilize religion as a driving force for participation in socialist society, and wield it as a weapon against other sorts of reaction. If you don't do that, what ends up happening is that this tool will fall into the hands of reactionary forces, who are highly motivated and usually well armed and supported by foreign powers, to undermine the power of the socialist state. That, and also the massive discontent amongst religious masses. He's directly talking about Afghanistan here. I, I don't know if he actually openly mentions it, but what he's talking about here is Afghanistan. An often ignored aspect for local discontent in the Central Asian republics was this very issue, and it directly aided those espousing petty nationalism with calls for us being able to practice our own religion in our own country, finally. I have heard too many stories from people I know having to secretly baptize their children, or people having to hide religious texts in false walls and secret pits in fear of the authorities. My own father, who studied many years in the USSR, on a trip to the Azerbaijan, had people follow him to his hotel room, begging him to teach them how to recite the Quran properly. This is not what socialism should stand for, and is definitely something that deserves the most severe condemnation. If you want humanity, the vast majority of which is religious in one form or another, behind your political cause, you need to have a coherent and positive religious strategy. Don't forget. The reasons many Muslims supported the Bolsheviks early on is because they promised they defend their mosques and their right to worship. Point number eight, deportation. Former socialism's fault. This is actually a really good video. We should watch this. Yeah, this is Hakim. He's a doctor in Iraq and, uh, and a uh, socialist uh, YouTube content creator. I've been on his podcast, uh, Deprogram. He's the man. He's great. Do you know I was a socialist? What, in your dreams? Like, what do you mean? No, I'm a socialist. I just think that the no, state not. of California taxes the middle class. Yeah, okay. Too much. I'm an anti-tax socialist. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so you're an anarchist. You're an anarchity. <laughs> POV, you take your kid to Target. This is cool. Queen, queen, queen. <laughs> Queens take care of each other. Mom says I'm supposed to be more organized. Can this I guy's definitely this reading having log? sex with men on the side, too. Yeah, so this is the owner of Date the Right Stuff, which is a right-wing dating app. It's like a dating app for conservatives. And he's definitely having sex with men on the side, for sure. He's definitely getting his dick sucked or sucking. Nah, no, you know, he's sucking dick. That's what he's doing. He's doing it all. He does. He does. He kind of looks like a bottom to me. He's definitely. He a bottom. is very zesty. Which is hey, there's nothing wrong with that. But but I just you know I appreciate him. He looks like he like looks that. like he is a he, he is a default avatar grinder account. Can you get a default avi on grinder? Yeah, and people still message you. I mean, not like I know, <clears throat> but I've heard. Perfect for our beach vacation. Dad, can we pull out your CD player? Fit for anyone and everyone. Can I tell you something crazy about grinder? Let's get now, I've heard about this. I've never done it myself. But I've heard, like, if you have a just a basic profile picture and you just put your height in the fucking thing, you will still get pictures of cocks. Like, people being like, I will, like, just, like, it, it's insane. Like, the level of horny on Grinder is, like. Yeah, it's, it's men it's, fucking it's, men, dog. Yeah, I know, but like, but, 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 like, but they just are looking for a human with height. That's it. 
It's men fucking men, like, brother. No of age on like there, that. just 5'10", 160, just dicks in your DMs. But I've never done it myself. But I've heard about it. This for mom. Live, laugh, Lebanese. <laughs> Trains and... <people laughs> okay, that was fucked up. Well, why are the Lebanese catching strays? Okay. Oh, come on, bro. Le Lebanese lesbian, it's like... It's just I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with it. See, I'm, I'm, like that, I'm homophobic, like, I think. Sometimes I catch myself. Like, what? what's wrong with Lebanon and Lebanese being lesbian and Lebanon being, you know, the same? Nothing wrong with that. Wait, what? No, you can, you can like, it's, it's like a trope, dude. What are you, crazy? Like, people constantly saying Lebanese, you mean lesbian? Like, it's annoying. I know, it is annoying, and I hate that, and I'm very offended by it. Yeah, you can be offended by it. It's fine. Not what you're, it you're, says. You know, anti. Le you're lesbophobic. P O V. <laughs> you take your. Did Target really not think that we would notice when they took not only the bathing suit section, but oh, look here, what was the pride section now? bathing suits because you know we don't want that stuff up front no we now in the southern stores have to walk all the way to the back this is where pride stuff is this is not ally behavior <laughs> come on man why millions of americans are boy like that's so dumb too it's like oh man they didn't even take the pride section down they just like moved it to the back who's not ally behavior it's not ally behavior they so. need to change the target Cutting target okay so they claim it's an attempt to indoctrinate or manipulate or groom kids into thinking about sex at such a young age. But I, I just don't understand like why this is like automatically sex. Like, yeah, I don't get it either. Like you take your kids to weddings, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like you, your, your you, teacher, your teacher will have like a photo of, uh, I don't know, her husband. Is that is that automatically like oh dude you're showing the child that they're fucking like yeah gross. You, you 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 like have a lot of people that are in a relationship you yeah know what I mean? get this shit out of here kiss. I see a you man know, and like, a woman holding hands in public I fucking walk up to them and I karate chop the hand yeah. like immediately I'm like ah get that out of here yeah, I'm thinking yeah. that you guys are fucking and I hate that you stop that right now. You stop. I hate you. Uh, we'll, we'll post the nudes. Fuck yeah. It, it, it's, it's, uh, it's so incredibly homophobic. The idea that being gay is just about sex. It's not. It's about love. Just like any other relationship is. Yeah, like... Now I happen to talk about like sex Austin, a lot. Austin's gay as fuck. He talks about sex a lot, and he's getting no dick, okay? Okay, that is not true. So, so think about that. That is true. This is a man who is sexless. That's why he's talking about sex all the fucking time. It's true. Proof. Proof is right here. This it's man true. does not fuck. It's okay? true. I am desperate for sex. He's so desperate. Please don't he, DM me. No one, no one who is not desperate goes to the fucking Abbey... In the middle of a Sunday mm. by themselves. You don't know me, Hassan. I, I do. That action in and of itself is the action of a sexless person. I cannot. This is bad for me. Who my is thirsty and hungry. I okay? have a lot of sex. Okay. Yeah, okay. You yeah. Know, you, let me tell Cap. you the last time I had sex. Yeah. Last week. I had sex last week. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? You want, I don't want me to record it and send it to you next time? No. I don't want you to do that. Yeah, because I just you don't know want you to I go. Do it. I don't want. No, you wouldn't. I don't want you to go to the Abbey by yourself on a Sunday. I'm a gay. And bee, sit okay? there. I like to. It's cool to be around. Maybe I don't even. You want. have not changed at all from your college days, where you go, where you would go to Applebee's and sit there by yourself, okay. <laughs> drinking a beer. Okay. Look. You know what? You know what needs to happen. I need to find somebody. Hassan, you need to host my gay lover host. <laughs> Okay, and I need to find a nice, beautiful man to go to the Abbey with. That's he used to do that in college. I did alone. I would go sit at Applebee's. Okay, and it's so sad. That's I know, I know, and uh, sit there alone and drink. Look, he's laughing at my trauma. Look at this. He's laughing at my trauma. I'm just glad you have when friends I, now. When I was I'm in glad college. glad that you have people around you now that yeah. want to be around you. It's okay. You know, I get it. Uh, 
But look, the insinuation that my political opponent has said that I do not get laid is false. <laughs> okay, well. It's very false. In fact, I'm going to start an OnlyFans because he just said that. I'm going to start an OnlyFans. Uh, you're such a slut for attention. I'm going to start an OnlyFans. I will be, I will be. Do you think I should start one? What do you think? Do it. I'm not, I don't, you know, what do you think? Do like, it. A fansly or only fansly? I mean, maybe. Do it. Whichever one gives you money, more more money. I'm going to start selling my body, I think. You know what? Because I don't have much time left to do that. You have time, dude. You have time. Who wants to buy my body when I'm 40, right? Damn, Kai feels bad about you. Right. He's like, oh. Kaya, you think I should start an OnlyFans? Uh, Kaya, do you think I should start an OnlyFans? Woo! No. Say yes. Kaya, do you think I should? She doesn't think so. He's barking to try to get her to bark. <laughs> That's how much attention I want. Good girl. Good girl. You guys can't see she's she's kicking. I don't know how to show. I want to show her kicking, but I can't. Look, Wait, I, uh, you can kind of see it. Good. What? What are you gonna show me? Oh, I was just I, I got distracted. Do you think? Do you think that uh, our co-hosts are gonna be here on time? I think Cutie will be late as always. Mm -hmm. You heard me, Cutie. I'm calling you out. Okay. Yeah, she's late always. Typical. 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 Me on time always. They try to spin it. They edit it. We've got a really homophobic editor for what our is podcast. Dreams TikTok slash Jubilee. <laughs> Cutie is coming from a different country. I flew here from New York on United Airlines. Oh, it was memes, dreams, TikTok reacts. Austin's coming. Oh. Your Where viewership. the fuck is Mark? Mark is in the chat right now. He said, huh. Why is the title just Austin? Your viewership's not going up with that. That's not I mean, shit. it doesn't matter. Nobody gives a shit about me. Nobody cares about me. I'm stupid and ugly. And okay. Calm down. You're so desperate Nobody right cares now. About me. It's so obvious what you're doing. You're cares such about a me. You're such a baby. So ugly and nobody likes me. <laughs> Look at your dog where you're sitting. How can you not let him out? Let her out. And I can't. Because she's a baby, and if I let her uh, roam around, if I let her roam around, she's gonna, God knows what she's gonna fucking yeah. eat. Only came back to Target to number one, return something, and number two, to show you guys what's happening in, in front of our faces. Because as parents, we need to be aware of this stuff. Get your baby away from the pride display. Get your baby away. They're gonna be gay. Yeah. Dumbass baby. Too, but we gotta talk about it. So first of all, let's, let's look at this. Baby's already homophobic. Mm -hmm. Like, what happened to just Happy Fourth of July? Let's free to be me. Happy Fourth of July, bitch! It's May. What do you mean, Happy Fourth of July? Like, w what the fuck? Why are we not celebrating Fourth of July in May? <laughs> What the fuck? Also, are you going to buy a shirt that says Happy 4th of July? That's the wackest shirt of all time. I've shit on Pride merch a lot in this broadcast, okay? I have. A lot of it is just like, you know, it's, it's gaudy. It's camp, but not in like a fun and cool way. It's just like, it's just shitty. It's just pandering from corporations. And most of the time, it's not great designs. Wow. Okay. I actually own that tank top, but that's okay. No, you don't. <laughs> you do not own a single pride. Do you? Yeah, no, I, I got a shirt that says, I'm so gay, I shit rainbows. And then I got, uh, oh, and then I have a tank top that says, I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, that one is, that one's fire. That's yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, and also uh, supports traditional values. It does. <laughs> like it's not awesome. being gay, which is why I'm in support of that. Yep. Um... I tell you yeah, what, she she literally pulled the where are the Christmas trees? This is a war on Christmas shit. I tell you what's a tragedy is that woman's <laughs> curtain blouse. 
If you can read this, the bitch fell off for a biker. Yo. The bitch fell off for a biker baby blankets. All right. If you can read this. Yeah. This is what the, this is off. what those people are buying, okay? And they're like, no pride merch for my child, but I love this shit. Anyway, uh, let's finish this fucking Fireworks, video. Fireworks, something like that. Nope, just free to be me. Six years old, right? Already just conditioning kids. Yeah, how, be themselves. how terrifying. How terrifying. <laughs> you, You're conditioning your children to be themselves. How wow. dare you? We, someone needs to stop that. How dare you? We shouldn't be indoctrinating them to be themselves Free. we need to be telling them they need to live Something the else. life in the eyes of the lord like annoying smarmy fucking scold that's what you need to condition your child to be so that uh you know your baby will be just as shitty of fucking human as you all right what else this i actually like love that but it has nothing to do with sex and i know people are gonna say it's not about sex it's about gender well it all comes down don't to pay attention what to her do you when prefer? she's barking Vagina or penis? Why do kids need to even be thinking about that right now? But there's don't one thing her, I really want to show you guys. I, I just barking. find it. Don't look at it. Don't even, even look then, at it. That whole free to be me thing could be taken as like. She needs to learn. One of the things that she needs to learn is that like she can't get attention if she's barking like that. That so that's like a huge deal. It's really hard for me. I'm the uncle. Be taking that out of context, I know, but, you but you'll be breaking let's her. Let's be real. We all know what they're talking about. But no, there's there's more. So give me a second. This is the one that really pissed me off. Y'all aren't even ready for this. You know, just in case you want to wear a woman's bathing suit, but you have a penis, you could tuck it in. Like, why does this... Why are you so bent about this? This is what people were, like, really upset about. They're like, wow, they're making, like... They're making, like, penis tuck bathing suits. Like, why is that something that frustrates you so much? I don't understand. You wear your ugly ass shit. You don't see me fucking complaining that they're selling this. You know what I mean? Like, let people wear whatever the fuck they want to wear. Like, what's wrong with you? No one is forcing you to buy this shit. No, those are uh, bathing suits for adults, by the way. Like, like they are. They're not for children. Even if they were for fucking children, I don't give a shit regardless, okay? Kids wear dumb ass shit all the fucking time. Get in. My thing is, I never had a problem with the LGBTQ Bullshit! Yeah, no. Bull I'm, fucking no, shit. You know what? No, no, she's right. She's right. I never had a problem with the anti-LGBTQ shit until I realized I can make TikToks and get easily 29,000 likes on it, even though I'm an annoying scold with no personality, and I've decided my personality is just being dog shit. What's up? You're alive, alive, which is which I is live. surprising. Um, we got a podcast. That's it. That's like that's the only reason. Like like that's okay. Anyway. Never been better, folks. Oh my god! I, I yeah. that's why she's doing it. She's doing it because she's getting attention. I never had a problem. Anyway, um, March is here, which means um we are going to uh we're gonna fucking this this experience is gonna come to an end here. I love you guys, but I will. No, no, no. It's fine. I love you guys, but I he doesn't will. Love you. He wants to quit. I will. Yeah, all the time. Um, oh, that's yeah, such a funny. Put Kaya over my hair. Are you just there? We go. Yeah. Um, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, we are gonna go shoot probably the best episode of this podcast. Oh, yeah, we've we got ever a lot shot. of surprises in store. We have. The Maddie Healy Taylor Swift drama. Yep. We have uh, Will and March dying at EDC yep. and and you know uh, almost leaving us behind. Um, we have Austin's clothes, and there's additional drama associated with yep. Austin's we clothes that we didn't bought. Talk about it. Okay, I purposely did not bring this up uh, on the broadcast, but like I almost, Austin almost did something last night that I like, I could not believe like, Will and I were in shock. I thought I was in the right and I'll be you defending were my position. so in the wrong. And I am sure I'll have a lot of support in the you comment section. You will not have a singular tomorrow. piece of support. <laughs> or Monday or Tuesday. I am, I, I a hundred percent. I know my, my, my fans will be supporting me through this controversy. Monday. Oh yeah. The podcast okay. schedule is back on Monday. So you will be able to watch it's back all of out this tomorrow. Tomorrow, where I will be, all my fans will be 
defending me in the comments. <laughs> Nobody ever supports Austin. Let's be fucking for real. Uh, excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You are permanently in the wrong. Excuse me. I have still not paid that Italian hotel bill and the new poll, the real poll, not the fake poll. Oh, God, I forgot about that. There's so much stuff that we not have. Not the fake poll, folks. Um, very, I, sad, I, I love, very sad. Very sad. I love what the podcast has uh, become now because, like, back in the day, I'll admit, sometimes it felt like an afterthought or sometimes it felt like an obligation um, where I was like, oh, man, like, all right, we're shooting a podcast again. Like, well, when we didn't have a guest, I was panicking. Like, I always had, like a panic moment where I was like, is Will going to show up? <laughs> Are we going to have an episode? When can we have an episode? Nowadays, I find myself like elated, excited to see uh, Cutie Cinderella and Will. And that's it. Those are the people I'm excited to see in March. Um, but also, Kaya, I'm going to let you out right now. Hold on. We'll say bye-bye together. Um, but also... Fake news, folks. Fake news. You know, news. we got we got a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a lot of drama internally. So, you know, very I, sad. I am very excited, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow, as always, to deliver you some good-ass... Fake news is what he's going to Beautiful content. Democratic news from the loony left. <laughs>